but as Luna was laughing really hard, Twilight threw her butt back enough to almost poke her in the face with Celestia's horn. I was so super mad that she couldn't reach, but then the bridle burnt up off Twilight's face. The smoke shot right to the point of Celestia's horn, and then Remass something you lized on Luna's head. She reared up and started kicking and trying to pull it off, even scraping her head against the wall. It wasn't right on Luna, and it was yelling all sorts of dirty words the whole time, but it still must have kept her from using her magic. Twilight used her Telekin thesis or whatever to unchain me from herself. And, you know, that's it. No, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Twilight used her tail thing or whatever to unchain me than herself. She kept yelling at me to run away and get help, but I just had to come over Spike while she untied him too. I thought she was French kissing him. Really hard for a second, but she was making him breathe again, or well, trying. She's crying and saying she shouldn't have done that, because even if she wasn't hurt to begin with, it was still too much for a baby dragon. I kind of think she's wrong, since he did save us in every pony and stuff, but then I should have really been paying better attention, because suddenly Luna kicks Twilight over and put the bridle back on her. They're all wrestling and stuff, so I tried to jump in, but Luna just kicked me and made me go flying into the wall like I'm nothing. I don't like being treated like I'm nothing. I got so mad but didn't know what to do until I saw Celestia's horn on the floor. I grabbed it in my mouth and ran right at Twilight. I knew she wouldn't kick me even if she saw me, and with her in the way, Luna couldn't hit me again. So anyway, I busted Twilight out of the way and got right in the princess's face. Luna didn't expect that. She stopped and just gave me a strange look, and I shoved Celestia's horn right into her fucking chest. It was weird. She kept looking at me the same way for a really long time. Then she said, Even in death, my sister has deeply wounded me once more. I yanked the horn out and blood went everywhere. Luna fell over, and that was that. Twilight just stared, and I tried to tell her to go back to Spike. I forgot I still had the horn in my mouth, but she knew I, what I was saying anyway. She looked really bad, and I could barely make her horn glow at all. She was sobbing and saying she couldn't do anything for him because she was so weak. Hello! We suddenly hear rarity. I try to yell, but duh, horn in my mouth. Twilight begs her to hurry and she tells her to help Spike. She says she doesn't know how, but Twilight tries to reach her the healing spell really fast. Seriously, isn't that like the spell every unicorn should learn first so they can help ponies who get hurt? Well, Rarity tries, but it wasn't working. I was so sad that I couldn't watch. I wiped Luna's blood off Celestia's horn on a curtain best I could before I went to Princess Celestia and gave it back, very gently. Then I lied down and held her and cried. I should have gone back to look for help. I guess maybe I really am really stupid after all. But anyway, Rarity started freaking out and screaming. She went on about how sorry she was because she really liked Spike and played hard to get now and she'll miss him so much. I don't think she knew how bright her horn got just then and since suddenly Spike's cough and says... Yeah, but I have a thing for the bitchy ones. And then they're all happy. Well, kinda. For a minute or so. Of course, that's when Luna's spell wore off on the guards and every pony started moving again, but all dizzy and stuff. At first I thought they were going to blame us for everything, but they knew it was Luna, because, yeah, she was the one who tricked Celestia and frozen them in the first place. Well, Spike had to go to the hospital for a couple of weeks, and Twyla insisted on staying on Candle Art to help things get cleaned up. And I mean it was, because even though... They made them let her clean up the throne for real. I think she felt like she owed it to Princess Celestia to take care of every part of her. Me and Applejack and Rainbow Bloom helped too, and Rarity and Fluttershy took turns taking care of Spike. Well, they both stayed in his room almost all the time and kept fighting about the best way to make it feel better. He pretended to bother him, but I think he liked it. Rarity told everyone that she only said all that mushy stuff to make him happy because she thought he was going to die. Cow poop. You know what, too? The sun continued to rise and set all by itself, and the moon, too. I guess they were just so used to it they didn't want to stop. Or maybe Celestia was still doing it somehow because she loved us so much. Uh, Princess Saluna Sita. Princess Celestia was made all beautiful and put in a lovely open coffin. It was surrounded with new pretty flowers every day while tons of ponies came to look all over from Ponyville. 
They did that for a week to make sure everybody got to see her. Also, because it took a while to build a really awesome mausoleum for her right at the top of the mountain Canterlot's on. It's so beautiful. I think she'd have liked it even if it makes us sad when we look at it, but I guess that's what it's supposed to do. Twilight had these meetings with bigwigs all the time, and between that and the really hard work and not sleeping, she started to look really sick. Then one night, guards came for me in a nice way and took me to one of the meetings, too. Every pony there was really mad, and it took me a while to figure out what they were talking about what to do with Luna's body. They wanted to burn her, rip her into pieces, and put her in the Everfree Forest for the monsters to eat. One mayor yelled that she should just be thrown out of the sewage system. Yuck. They just kept talking about all these nasty things and about how much they hated her. Suddenly, Twilight cleared her throat and everyone shut up, just like that. She looked so small and frail compared to everyone, but they all hung on her, her every word. Pinkie Pie is the one who stopped her from killing us and taking over all of Equestria, she said. Then she turned to me. You've heard what every pony else says, but I'm leaving it up to you, Pinkie Pie. What do you say? I didn't expect that. I had to think, and that takes a long time. But then my other thinking about the sun and the moon came back to me. The whole time, no one said a word. Finally, I started crying and said, We have to bury Princess Celestia and Princess Luna together. They all got really mad and started yelling at me and calling me bad words, but Twilight jumped on the table and shut a lightning bolt that knocked down a whole wall. That shut them up. Then she looked right at me and seemed madder than everybody else. She gritted her teeth. Pinkie Pie? I just said if Celestia had given Luna the kind of love she really, really wanted, then none of this really horrible, sad stuff would have happened. Maybe if they're together now, they can both be happy. I think that's what Celestia would want, especially after seeing how much she'd hurt Luna's feelings for so long. Twilight came over and hugged me, and nobody pony yelled at me anymore. Luna was secretly put in the crypt the night before Celestia's funeral. The next day, it kind of felt like Princess Celestia went there just to comfort her little sister. Now Twilight tells every pony I'm the one who finally brought true harmony to Equestria. Well. Fuck me sideways. That was, a uh, That was a long one. Yeah. Yeah, it was a long one. Um, fuck, dude. I like it when uh, Luna's nicer. And junk. But hey, uh, I don't know. Celestia dies, so that's cool. I'm a... Uh, I'm a Luna fan, in general. But you know what? I, it was long as fuck, and it had a couple, a lot of couple bad sentence structures, and it didn't flow well at all, but, uh, fuck, you know, I'm not, as you might have been able to tell, amazing at voice acting, but I like character-driven dialogue, and it seemed like a lot of the stuff just kind of happened because the story said it was going to happen and not because the psychology psych fuck the psychology of the individuals in the story really motivated and anything they did to really necessitate that like i got the you know pinky stabbing her in the chest part but like pinky's fucking smart as hell like you watch the show and she's like She'll figure shit out that you would fuck, dude. She's fuck Sherlock. She's her Sherlock Holmes. She's an idiot savant like I've never seen before. So there's no fucking way she wouldn't have been able to tell at least something amiss was happening with Luna. And in fact, uh, Twilight. I mean, when she gets, you know, really sad and pissed off, she's just fucking. Rawr-tastic. She did a little bit too much cowering, I think. Although, I guess I can sort of see how that would work, but like I said... Mm. I did like the thing with Spike, though. That, uh, that worked. That worked. So, yeah. This was... My absolute most ist horriblest day ever. Greater than sign. On cartoon.adultfanfiction.net. Alright, we're done here. Oh.
<laughs> my grain. <sighs> so yeah, there we go. All right, bye.